SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. For this week's edition of SBR's NFL Rundown, where we'll go over some of our early leans for this week's schedule. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right to the picks, starting off with the 49ers and the Rams for this Thursday night football. In a short week for both teams, I'm actually going to have to lean on the under 42 and a half of this game because I actually think that St. Louis' defense will give the Niners a bit of a hard time, despite having not shown up against the Cowboys last week. And we all know that the Niners have a pretty solid D also. It's just weird since it seemed that all the players were absent in the game between Indy. The Niners were unable to get anything going against the Colts, and I think that that won't change, especially now that they have to travel to Edward Jones Dome this Thursday. Where, where last year they were unable to beat the Rams. Next game on the board that we have is the Baltimore Ravens against the Buffalo Bills. Not really going to get into much details here, but even though that Baltimore won last Sunday, it was a defensive effort only. And until they fix whatever issues they have with their offense, I don't see them worthy of laying three and a half or more points. So given that Buffalo has home field advantage, I will have to lean on the plus three and a half in hopes that they can keep it a close game. Next game we have on board is the Giants and the Chiefs. I'm really digging the Chiefs' momentum right now, but something tells me that it might get a tad complicated when they receive the Giants. I think that the Giants will regroup that after an awful outing last week against the Panthers, but it really doesn't give me any security that they can cover any spread, especially after the way that the Chiefs have been playing ball lately. Andy Reid is managing game time so efficiently, it just makes the game playing a lot easier. Their defense isn't being overworked like last season, and their offense has found some good rhythm. And this just gets me to think that the game will be a low-scoring one, so I'm going to have to go on the under 44 for this one. Another interesting match that we have is the Colts against the Jaguars. Andrew Luck and Trent Richardson, the first and third pick of the 2012 draft, should have an explosive game against the weak Jags. Not only did the Colts get a great deal with their trade for Trent Richardson, but they also sparked a tiny little fire under Bradshaw who seemingly noticed that he is no longer indispensable and started to pick up the pace, something that really wasn't expected, especially against the good D that the Niners have. He was able to put up 95 yards in 19 carries, averaging about five yards a carry and a TD. It also looks that offensive coordinator Pep Hamilton will be a lot happier now that he'll be able to get that power running game going, with Richardson and Bradshaw splitting carries. Though it might take some time before Richardson is fully up to speed with the game plays, so we might see a little bit more action from Bradshaw at least for the first couple of weeks while Trent gets into sync with the team. But now this will help Andrew Luck get a bit more chance to sling the ball down the field when needed. I liked Indy at minus seven when the line opened, but to be honest, I still like them at minus nine. Jacksonville doesn't really have much to offer and it might not be a blowout game, but they will for sure cover, so bet away. Thanks for joining me for SBR's NFL Rundown and we'll be back next week with more picks. For SBR Forum, this is Dax Boyd.